Hello again, a new day, a new project. Here I am again with one of these uh, amplifiers for LoRa Helium Miners. This uh, it's already a classic B-directional AB8685V. You see, I already had a test with one of this amplifier. This is a new one. I'm not sure how it's working and uh, how it's behaving. The point is that now I'm trying to have another connectors. I'm replacing the connectors here. I'm customizing the connectors because when it will be up on the roof, I, I want to have as less as connectors possible. And we'll have a test again with uh, Nano VNA to see about the response and about the gain and all the other stuffs. You know, it's already very popular, this uh, kind of amplifier. And this will be my next test for seven days, starting with tomorrow. Because I'm finishing this today and tomorrow will be the first day. And uh, that's 9th of April. Tomorrow it will be 9th of April. Okay, so for now I'm uh, just uh, changing the connectors. This connector has been already on the, on the board. And I have to find a RPSMA mail connector where I don't know <laughs> okay so I found one right here I'm gonna take it out from this board this is a ZPF 5189 it's working great the mooded one with a filter inside it's working damn great okay let's take that out I uh, I'm gonna use my uh, hot air station for that it needs a lot of heat to have results needs a lot of power to get this done I'm heating up the connector to have all those pins unsoldered Mm-hmm. Yes, there we are. Now let it cool for a while. Yeah, I'm trying to, to clean a little bit this uh, soldering we got here. Yeah, let's see if I can fit it in. Oh, still hot, not so much. Yes. You may say that I have to use that kind of mesh, you know, but I don't have it now, so I'm just using force or brute force. Clear the path somehow. Okay, it's very good here. Yeah, and it fits perfect. Oh no, this way. Thank you, my friend. The hot air station is so noisy. And we are good to go here. Very nice. There are two. Yeah, pretty okay. Let's check for, for short at the input. K width, my small one, AST 600, really nice. 260 ohms at the input. That's perfect. What about this guy here? Yeah, this amplifier, it's on 50 ohms. That's the impedance in impedance that's the impedance and we have the right connectors let's try a test let's give a test okay so remember this is <laughs> somehow upside down the output it's the input so I'll use one of these connectors here okay input very nice and that's the output and i have to use a adapter like this okay so it's a it's a huge chain of adapters but i don't mind okay so this one goes in here that should be perfect but for the beginning i have to use but for the beginning let me have Nano VNA saver, it's on. Let's connect the device, of course. Let me calibrate it. 
82900 exactly for our needs let me have here 820 megahertz to 900 megahertz okay we need to run okay not this one but this one attenuator and cables let's see how much do we have here okay so we have like see on the red we have like minus 25.909 let's write it down minus 25.090 db so this is the attenuation or the signal path attenuation okay let me take this out this goes out this comes in okay this one in here and this one in here okay we are ready to go power supply it's on but we have to be sure about the voltages here and let's check the voltages because we don't want to have more than six volts this amplifier is working with maximum six volts okay minus plus 4.58 perfect and let's power it on okay everything is fine here let's sweep and there we go people look at 868 megahertz the red one up here minus 9.525 minus 9.525 okay let's check the connections again okay once more there we go minus 9.572 so i will consider this like the results here let's see uh 25090 minus 9525 guys we have 15.565 db of amplification at 868 megahertz this will go straight on my minor on the roof and i'm going to use an extra filter because this one even if it's filtered to 868 an extra filter doesn't hurt anyhow and also it keeps a little bit the the signal down because it's plenty of amplification tx it's on minimum here and uh, we'll see the results now let's sweep a little bit from 400 to 900 megahertz okay 868 let's see minus 10 okay very nice result minus 9.53 so the same result absolutely but here is something interesting you see because it's sweeping in between these frequencies it's related somehow to the takes you see the blue the blue led it's the blue led it's lighting on look there so that means the amplifier is working on tx2 because when it's sweeping then it's exciting the tx chain this is wonderful that's why we have this gap here okay that will be enough for today i'm starting tomorrow having tests with this amplifier and i'm gonna write down the results for the next seven days thank you for now hopefully it's useful please like please subscribe push the button there and i'll be back in seven days with results for this test and most important thing don't forget to have fun bye bye